Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Kim Enchantress here. I'm here to do a musician's reading for October 2020. Bear in mind if you have been following the channel from June 2020 and you would have seen August and now I'm doing October to December. Uh, this is continuation and it is a uh, progression of a story. So bear in mind if you're a newcomer, welcome to the channel. But I urge you to... Um, Start off with the June and August reading first. I will put a link below for you. But this is a continuation. So let's see what's been going on in your music life for the last two months here, Virgo. Now we've established that you are very devoted to your craft. You are some sort of mentor giving guidance to an upcoming um, musician. So probably teaching in some respect. But there was something that you wanted that seemed impossible to reach. Now there is a person in your life that will show you how to get through step by step. When you felt like all your musician friends had fallen away from you and this person is going to help you with wise choices. It was about good people entering your life. Now this person is someone with great authority who is widely respected. He will give you a strong definition in your life telling you the right thing to do. He's quite stern and he doesn't emphasize with your situation as they've never been in your situation and they have no desire to. So let's get started. We've got the King of Darkwood Elves. So this is the person with authority. They're very well known, very well respected in the music industry. And uh, they're coming in to tell you the right thing to do here, Virgo. This person can be a little bit um, of an authority figure. And they're not emphasising with your situation. So they don't want to hear what you have to say. They're just um, here to help you. So they don't want to hear any whinging, whining, any... Um, thing that's been going on they just want to help you move forward so whether you take that uh that advice or not that's that's pretty much up to you now as always i have picked the moon card and this represents musicians artists creativity how you recognize in your industry your deep emotions here virgo and um the chemistry you have with your the musician friends now we have the house here so this is you finding that you're probably staying more at home at night time this is where you feel comfortable and familiar safe it's your safe haven so usually yep musos are out of a night time so you find yourself staying at home a lot more and now with the fish you have fears concerning making a living because the fish is about money this is taking a respite from your night job, like pretty much all of us. And the tower here is um, maybe you getting that clear um, look at one's needs and fears. Um, probably looking rationally at what you want now because this person's coming in to help. Then we've got the heart and this is reflecting over the last 12 months about what you were passionate about there's a lot of uh, deep soul searching basically and now that you've got access to something that was hidden in your subconscious with the key and you will start to have an awareness about your emotions here Virgo especially your fears to let others come close to you in fear of them leaving you behind again so you've lost friends along the way or musician friends but you may be feeling that they've abandoned what they've abandoned they've abandoned you and you're ready to surrender to this now with the animal tarot the ten of summer this is the prairie dog and this is usually affirming what the Lenormand cards have said so summer is a rich and fulfilling season whatever seeds that sprouted in the spring are growing at a fast pace now things are starting to ripen here it's also the suit of emotions well-being, family bonds and joy in life. So making that commitment to your relationships 
and building upon your foundation. So just like the house here. Somewhere where you're safe and grounded and you can start to build upon things again. Now in traditional tarot, this suit of cups is the water element. So it can represent Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces in the reading. So that's beautiful. But also um, the prairie dog is about importance of family and the community are having trustworthy relationships. And it is important to spend time with family and people who you share musical interests with. So that could be a partner that's coming in. Um, but you've got to show your appreciation at all times here, Virgo. These prairie dogs are very social animals. Um, who ha whose base, they base a great deal on family and community, these animals. So let's see what else we've got. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we've got the house and the fish. So the house and the fish is here to tell you you are now considering how to make a living in a way that's considered proper. So maybe these are rules of great value to you and this is a band of musicians with many members and establishing rules that are familiar to them. So to be comfortable and familiar with these people. And then you've got the tower which is um, probably you Virgo having high standards for these band members and remember making plans once made but putting them into action as well and then remembering to understand and can be compassionate with this family of uh, band musicians um, trying to see the positive sides of a situation and then plan ahead and then we've got the key with the house so you will start to open up and break free from combining traditions. It's time for new rules here, Virgo. So that's beautiful. Then you've got the fish and the tower. So this is about remembering, Virgo, you don't come across too snobby and judge people because of their income or their possessions. Okay. And with the, the fish and the heart, um, this is remembering to give and take or find a balance within your relationship or with this energy but this is about loving your job and being infatuated with new ideas and then you've got the key with the fish so this is highly valuing the present moment stop being stingy with money perhaps it's telling you uh, and spend more time yeah, with your band family as well. Because um, remember just to be warm hearted. Might be why these other people left. And this is solitude that's brought you to relief. You're breaking out of your lonely prison now. Virgo, so to speak. Okay, so now we've got the strength card as the outcome from the animal tarot. The major arcana, very important. This is you finding strength through kindness. Try to forgive and be compassionate. You will get what you want via being gentle here, by, via a gentle touch. Believe in yourself, Virgo, and you will resolve your differences with your family. You are now stronger than you know, and this is going to be beneficial for your music business and family as well. Now, under the deck, we've got the man, the anchor, and the stalk so what this is telling me is you're now feeling safe solid as a rock here yeah, Virgo you're now transitioning you're going with your instincts and following your inner nature and this is about connecting with a man that's inevitable it's inevitable you're gonna come across this person definitely a man who may be relocating and transitioning this will be a slow transformation slowly but surely things will transform now he may be longing for permanent residence and you will feel grounded with yourself again. You'll feel more stable. So that's beautiful. Now before I let you go, I do have a new deck of cards, music oracles, which go well with this reading. And uh, I'm not real familiar with them, so I'm going to try and read them intuitively. Then I will read what the books 
meaning is so what do you have for Virgo please spirit So we've got Nick Cave. It's come out for you. Just pop that there. Okay, so it's telling you to be sure to be the last guest at the Cannibal's dinner party. So embrace your limitations to becoming a wonderful disaster. Waiting for inspiration is just waiting. So they're telling you to embrace your limitations. So whatever you feel like you can't reach... Mate, turn that into a positive. Embrace it. Because um, if you're waiting for this inspiration, you're not going to progress, basically, is what I'm feeling anyhow. But we'll see what the um, the book says. So just bear with me. Let me cave out there. Virgo, I'll just try and find Nick Cave, I think that's him. So definitely uh, Nick Cave is from Australia, born in 1957. Now from heartbreaking beauty to barely contain chaos. Few other artists can shift so seamlessly from tenderness and wistfulness. Resignation to white knuckled mayhem in is Nick Cave. A believer in the main chain notion that good and evil are present in each of us. His songs are compelling. Narratives of morality and murder, damnation and destiny, dark possession and doomed romantic love. Having somehow survived his early incarnation as a narcotically fueled junkyard poet, demons on his trail consumed by lust and hate, Cave is now a mainstream cultural icon, a venerable songsmith, novelist and screenwriter and living proof of the redemptive power of song so that's some kind of message to you here virgo so uh you do have someone coming in to help you they don't want to hear what's been going on they just want to push you forward so um i wish you all the very best i will be back in december i'm hanging to see how all this plays out for you love and blessings please like and subscribe to the channel I very much appreciate it if you do that. Thanks for now.